We're going fishing today. We're not just going fishing. We're going alligator gar fishing. We're basically going to catch an alligator. I haven't even turned the camera on today. It's the first time. That's cool, babe. Where are we going, Carrie Jane? Your life must be so boring up until now. It is. Until now. Welcome to our house. Only where your life the excitement boring. that went on in our household last night. Hey, this is where the other magic happens. <laughs> Dude, there's this guy who commented on my stuff who's from Australia. I read it. Yeah. I read that one. So Wait what's up, second. my Aussie friend? Then this is what we're gonna use. I have chicken. So basically, so what it. you're gonna wanna do is it's just bay. take them right here by the soft yeah. part of their neck. And you go run a hook right through the middle and of that. And then you just dangle them. No, you don't. You just dangle them in the water. Alligator gar loves small pups. And then They'll they latch onto here. And nothing, that, nothing major that you can't stitch up, but you just kinda use this as like a trap. They'll bite on, they don't wanna let go because it's good puppy meat. And you just drag the whole well, bolt of them back in. Faster, right? It's so sad that she does has no idea how much she trusts us right now. I know. On our tour, our fishing tour, we brought our guides. This is Terry Jane. This is Kath Wren. My name is Sambo. So here's some of the challenges we face today. I have my pole and I respun with 80 pound test. This spool is only rated for 17 pound test line, which means it is severely overburdened. It might not even cast. The last time we saw these things just out there swimming around in a puddle, we're just gonna throw the line out there and we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna pull one of these out of the river. We're gonna bug spray up because we don't want Zika virus in our family. Cause it's real and it'll get you. Up the hill we go to the Gator Gar. They're coming. No, we're coming. This is the biggest mountain in Dallas. It is, it's actually true. This is a Texas mountain right here and it's man-made. Woo! Feel the burn. This is not a Bernie Sanders endorsement. Oh, don't fall, I got that. That mud hole is Coombs Creek. Oh, that's the San Juan River. Yeah. Named after Great man named Sam. Most of the mater gating happens in that one. Yeah, this is where the magic happens for all the alligator gars. This is where we saw him the other day on the vlog. That's Dallas. So again, this is truly urban fishing. All right, gotten down here to our spot, rig everything up. Right now we're fishing with chicken. That's what's gonna snag me a gar. Guys, I truly have no idea what I'm doing, if you want to get technical. I'm not a fisherman, so this is not an instructional video. This is us piecing together what we can to see what we can figure out to pull this thing out of the water. So just stay tuned if you want to see something entertaining. So that's all this is, is entertainment. In fact, you'll probably get a lot of entertainment out of the fact that we have no idea what we're doing and you can laugh at how we're doing everything the wrong way. Stringing up. This 80 pound test line is like rope. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so thick. Oh, dude. No joke. There's stuff nibbling. Dude, I think I might have something already. I'm not kidding. Dude, there's a fish dragging this around. My bobber just went under. There it goes. I don't know what it is. Dude, he's running with it. I'm... I'm... Oh, she is. <laughs> Dude, you're supposed to just let him run with it. It takes him a while to eat it. My bobber's going under the, oh, did he lose me? I don't know if you guys just saw that, but we had something on here dragging my bobber through the water and then he slipped the hook. So with Gar, from what I've watched, you're supposed to let them run with it because they'll like play with it and then they will swallow it later. So I was trying Gar, to let him go. Gar, Gar, Gar. But he, he got the chicken off and he pieced out. Little but they're in here. Stinker. We're gonna get one. We're just chucking it out right here in the so middle. So gentle, Sam. Nothing to it. Work it, work it, work it. Such a long Yeah. 
the bobber's cruising out into the middle. There's something that's floating out the opposite way that the river is going. So there's something on there and he's just chilling with it right now. It could be that he has it on there and he's already, he feels resistance, he'll, I'm gonna set it. I got something. Yeah! Oh, yeah! A fish! I don't think that's a gar. Woo! Let's get some drag going Dude. there. Dude! I think it's probably a catfish. There it goes. Do you, are you recording? Yes, sir. You see sir. the red dot? I don't. Woo! Are you gonna pick it up? No, yeah, you gotta let them tire themselves out. Oh. He's small. I'll be able to pull him in. Not a gar, but a fish. Well, we don't know. It's not a gar for sure. It could be a small one. A baby gar? A baby gar. You sure you see a red dot in the yeah, corner? Yeah, baby. I don't even. Yep. It's small, but it's something. I see him. Woo! Oh! Wow! Did you get that on camera? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't think that's a catfish, dude. I think it's a small gar. Nah. I there think is it is. No pointy mouth. He's on there. Is he up a fight at all? Yeah, he'll drag it back out. I'm just wearing him out. Look at he's pulling it around. I'll reel him in and then he'll go back out. I've got the drag set fairly loose so he can pull on it. He's close. He's right here. Come on out, little I wanna, fish. I want to get him. Oh, where he goes I see. I saw him. I don't think it's that fish. It could be, I guess. Hey, little guy. Okay. Dude, should we be professional fishermen? Yeah, I think we already are. Guys? Good oh, work. Look at, that, look at that, look at that. What? Do the dance, little man. I'll wear you out. I got time. I want to catch him flopping. David, what are your thoughts? No thoughts. <laughs> We've got a fish on the other no line. Thoughts. Thoughtless. Ooh. 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 There it gar. is. Oh my gosh! It is a baby gar! What's up, gar Dude, baby? Dude, that's a gar. Y'all did it. Get him closer. That's Holy a gar! <laughs> I can't Woo! believe it. Hey, get me on camera here, Kerry. You got a gar. Did I promise you guys I would catch a gar? Yeah, I caught. Promise. Wait, wait, wait. They'll flop around still a lot. Oh, there's blood coming out of it. I'm so sad. That's what it, oh, dude, that's a freaking gar. Dude, that is a dinosaur fish. Okay, hold on. Hold on. He's not dead yet, so he's going to thrash around here in a minute. we got to be careful. He's not dead yet? No, they can live up to two, two hours. hours. You're releasing it. I know, but the way he said. You got it? Yeah. Guys. I, want, I want you to pick him up though. Oh my gosh. I told you I would catch a gar. There it is. That is an alligator gar. That is an alligator gar. You know that this is one of the oldest fish on the planet? Like these things are prehistoric. They're swimming around when the dinosaurs were swimming around. <laughs> Goodness. It's a fish. We're animal lovers. I'm sorry. We care about God's creation. I'm going vegan. You're already like a vegan. I'm vegetarian, but not really, but I try to be. Guys, I wish I could explain what this dude feels like. It literally feels like holding the dinosaur fish because it's just scales and like so thick and tough. Get a look at this dude. This is a crazy fish. I can feel his muscles twitching. Okay, I, didn't, I don't think I even told you guys this. I was over here watching him fish a minute ago. I kid you not, this head came out of the water that I thought was a real alligator, not a gar, like a freaking alligator. It was huge, big, like massive. So there are creepy, creepy things in this water right here. And it blows my mind that literally, this is only 30 feet across. You can just chuck a line in here and pull something out of the water like that. And they're just all in here chilling, big old gar.
We'll be back for more, guys. We'll keep you up to date. Hope you enjoyed the adventure today. Guys, what a cool night. There's Dallas right there in the background. Caught the alligator gar. It was rad. That thing chomped the bait and just took off. And then uh, I read that when they stop, when you see your bobber stop moving, they'll stop to like eat whatever you have on the hook. So I just yanked back and I set the thing. Sure enough, hooked him down low past his mouth and pulled him in. He's a two foot fish. I don't know how much he weighs. I'm not good at that, but he's about two feet, two and a half feet long. Got some killer teeth on him. Thumbs up if you guys are stoked that we pulled the gar out like I said we would. I've literally, I'm not a fisherman, but I loved it. Like I would totally love to get into it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I do daily videos. I wanna try and do cool stuff on a regular basis. So uh, give me your comments below. Tell me what you thought. All right, thanks, see ya. I used to say I was since That thing jumped. That was freaky. <laughs> Holy crap. I thought he was going to bite me.